Let's take a look at the latest update, update from the Icelandic Met Office, which says that significant likelihood of volcanic eruption in the coming days, around 1,000 earthquakes within the dike boundaries from midnight. Models show a 15 kilometers long magma intrusion located just northwest of Grindavik. Let's take a look at the status map showing the location of the dike intrusion based on, on combined satellite radar imagery, GPS measurements, and geophysical modeling. So, here you see the dike, how big it is, 15 kilometers dike intrusion stretching from the southwest to the northeast, uh, right through the city of Grindavik, right through the northern suburbs of the city. And along the crater row, call it Sundnuka Gigar Craters. And we might see volcanic eruption anywhere along this dike. Uh, since the morning of November 11, seismic activity related to the magma intrusion remains fairly constant. Since midnight, November 12, around 1,000 earthquakes have been recorded within the dike, and all of them have been below magnitude 3 in magnitude. The most seismic activity has been located in the region north of Grindavik. Most of the earthquakes are at the depths of 3 to 5 kilometers, corresponding to the lower part of the dike intrusion. GPS measurements covering the past 24 hours show the deformation associated with the dike intrusion that formed on Friday, November 10th, has slowed. This can be an indication that magma is moving closer to the surface. New models will be run as soon as new data comes to update the model. So this is the latest uh, update from uh, Icelandic Met Office on the eruption. Let's check the data from uh, the volcanodiscovery.com, which is a great website for all the geologists if you're interested. And here you can see the latest radar in Terogram showing the center of the ground deformation occurring between the 2nd and 10th of November. So here you see it. Uh, you see S is deforming along the dike, which extends for 15 kilometers. Here in the middle, as the earthquakes are aligning with this uh, dike as well, there is no indication that the eruption will take further west. Uh, at the Eldwarp uh, crater, as one volcanologist suggested today, right? so there are all, everything is pointing out to this dike. You see the, the deformation, and uh, the middle of the deformation is further north, not really in Grindavik. Grindavik is on the outskirts of this deformation, and if you watched my previous uh, um, video, you could. Uh, see that the most shallow earthquakes in the past six hours and if you filter them out they are right in the middle that's where we have also the biggest deformation uh, seen from the satellites and on this image and we have earthquakes next to the lake too but there is no deformation next to clever but lake not really uh, anything happening so the epicenter of activity magma is breaking through at, at this area and this is what the volcano discovery tells us the storm earthquake swarm that started yesterday near Grindavik on Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula is probably caused by magma forming a dike a vertical fissure shaped intrusion at shallow depths which allows the magma to rise and get closer to an eruption the earthquakes have subsided compared to the peak yesterday but they remain very frequent, it's from yesterday. Nearby GPS stations registered a dramatic jump in ground deformation yesterday. Within a few hours, uh, northwest, south, east oriented ground expansion of up to more than one meter, 120 centimeters at maximum. See image, this fits into the picture of the formation of a vertical dike or underground fish you oriented perpendicular to it. Uh, you see. 
The Icelandic mass office believes that the magma volume involved is much bigger than during the builds up of previous eruptions 21, 22, 23 at Fagradalsfjall. And uh, Icelandic Met Office considers it's possible that magma filled dike extends even under the nearest green Davik city. Uh, it, in this case, it could be possibility that an eruptive fissure forms right there, and we do see we, we discover the fault uh, uh, subsidence fault in the city, which is indicating magma is breaking through there, threatening one of Iceland's most important harbors and towns along the south coast. Uh, so significant changes occurred in seismic activity measured near Sunnuka Gingar craters north of Grindavik. In the formation observed on Reykjanes Peninsula this afternoon, this seismic activity has moved south towards Grindavik. Uh, so this is the news from VulcanoDiscovery.com.